hi guys welcome to jb's variety channel for a new video in today's video i'll be showing you how to make the easiest and testiest jello spaghetti so these are my ingredients i'll be using smoked fish i'll be using tomato paste i'll be using boiled egg i'll be using fresh tomatoes i'll be using spring onions i'll be using plantain i'll be using curry i'll be using seasoning i'll be using salt i'll be using granite oil I will list all of them one after the other and I will show you one after the other the way I prepare it so that you also know how to you also follow it step by step so these are my fresh pepper so the next thing I will do is to wash my tomatoes and make it look very neat and ready to use so these are my tomatoes as you can see it's very strong I use strong tomatoes so that it's cool it will come out very well this is and this at least by process I've started the process of slicing so I'm going to show you how I slice my tomatoes now I'm going to cut out the head the top the tip out then I'll slice it open into four before I cut it I don't make it smaller I mean because if it's smaller it becomes too smooth for what I will want to do so I'll cut it this way and after cutting it this way i'll show you how it looks okay guys this is it see how it's looking it looks beautiful and neat in fact i feel like eating it already so the next thing i'll be doing is to show you how to be our, our spring onions so this is our spring onions i showed you earlier how it looked before i prepared it so i washed properly and i sliced so this is my red pepper I used fresh red pepper. I don't like too much pepper, so I used the moderate amount. And this, I've grated my pepper. This is my onions from the spring onions. I used the, this is the sliced one. And then the next thing we'll do, I'll show you my plantain. My plantain is ready now. I would like to fry my plantain first before we enter, we start the cooking proper. So I've, I'll put a little bit of salt, a pinch of salt to my plantain, and I wait for my oil to get hot. Then I will fry. So. I'll wait for my plantain to fry a little bit then I'll be turning anyone that turn golden brown I'll turn anyone that fried to golden brown I'll turn and I'll keep on doing it that way till they are all ready okay guys thanks for clicking to my video if this is your first time of coming to my channel please like and subscribe for more videos for more content guys if you enter my channel you will love the content and please subscribe okay now this is the final result of my plantain as you can see it's looking golden brown this is how i love it so let's right right into the cooking this is my water on fire for my spaghetti so i'm going to let my water to boil for like 10 minutes of because i want so that my spaghetti will not cluster so after it's boiled, boiling i'll cut my spaghetti into two i usually break my spaghetti into two so that it won't be too long and also too short so, you know i like it long so i'll boil it alongside my egg okay for this process if you're going to boil your spaghetti with your egg make sure you wash it properly so that it will be very neat so you don't contact any kind of things from the egg the next thing you do is to start your frying. I start with my granite oil, so my pot is dry, and I put two spoon of two soup spoon of granite oil. And the next thing I'll do is to put my onions. And once my onions fries very well to taste, the next thing I will put my tomatoes. Okay guys, when the tomato is already in the oil, I will monitor it while it's frying. I'll, if you, you can see it, if once it's frying, you see the way it will change. It will start changing in color and everything. You will see it. And I let it fry for like 10 minutes because the water and everything from the tomato will have to dry. And as you can see now guys, it's changing. I'll monitor it and make sure it's well fried. So the next thing I'll do is to add my tomato, my tomato paste. So I'll add my tomato paste to it as you can see. That's what I'm doing. And after my tomato paste is in, I will turn and mix it together again and let it fry for some time, for some time again. For like one to two minutes. 
and like two minutes you let it fry then you add your pepper you let your pepper also fry when you pepper fry you just start putting your ingredients gradually put your ingredients gradually after um, i let it fry for some time the pepper i'll start my seasoning i'll put my seasoning i used four kilo seasoning as i showed you earlier i used four kilo seasoning to my taste and i used half spoon of half teaspoon of salt the first time so i realized that it won't be enough so i add another half teaspoon again so i would advise you be careful with salt so you don't put too much salt the reason why i use my half teaspoon so that my salt will be at minimum it won't be too much so the next thing i'll do is my spring onions i'll add my spring onions to it then i'll let it fry for some time after it fries for some time before i add my fish okay guys the next thing i'll do now is to add my fish this is my fish i'm going to divide my fish into two parts i'm going to put the half of it in the first part in the food this way and i'll mix it and i'll add water after i add my water a little bit of water please make sure your water is not much a little bit of water I said a little bit of water because your spaghetti does not need much water if you add too much water it your spaghetti will cluster and become too soft you won't enjoy the your meal so the next thing I'll do is to add my curry powder to it so after I add my curry powder I stir and let it boil for some time the next thing I want to do is to I want to show you is how you make your spaghetti to be apart so then you add water you pour enough water you cold water around it then you shake it together after that you pour your spaghetti in the pot and you mix it together with all your ingredients you mix it as you can see guys our spaghetti is looking sumptuous please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section below i will give the full list of the ingredients in the description box so you go there and get all the ingredients list of the ingredients for this food so the next thing I'll do is to put the other fish after stirring and mixing the ingredients together with the spaghetti properly then I'll put the remaining fish and cover it for some time okay guys this is our final result this is what it looks like thanks for watching like and subscribe to my channel for more video and don't forget to click the notification bell bye bye